hope you all doing well and happy new year guys i hope you're all excited for this year <laughs> and yeah i'm just looking forward for this year and so as you have seen from the title of this video i will be doing my 2020 recap and i saw actually um stefo do it and i was like this is actually a good way to see like what you achieved in 2020 and to see to see the progress 2020 made in your ear and so let's start oh yeah <laughs> let's start so first of all i remember in 2019 december actually december the 8th i wrote in my notebook hey yeah, this is my notebook and so i remember I, I was in church it was on a sunday and it was just after service so i went to an empty room and i was so frustrated with the ear the ear 2020 just looked like just trash. okay i would oh my god i take that back but it didn't look as fruitful as it could have been you know and so i remember just speaking to the lord and i was like oh my god this year man but i just want to give you 2020 like i just want to give you 2020 because girl i've worked 2019 on my own it's not been the best let me just give the Lord 2020 to work on it, you know, to have to let him have the lead of my ear. And so I wrote like a few things. Oh, the first statement I wrote is Lord, I surrender my 2020 to you. May your will and my life be done. And yeah, that was it. And then I remember like around December 20th, I could feel I'm in a new season. So you guys know, like, you know, the Lord works like we have timings and seasons yeah and so i could feel like i'm in a new season like i'm you know getting into a new season around 20 december 20th coincidentally like my new season was also a new year <laughs> like now it's 20 because you know you can get into a new season in july like that like that but mine was around december 20th you know to january like that and so yeah let's come to 2020 2020 and so all my 2020 started really well um so we for us my family we usually have get to get togethers on 31st of december crossing over to first and so we were just from our get together i came home and then uh, i remember i was just there and i was just thinking i don't know so fast forward to like the first friday i remember oh i when 2020 started yeah i believe i had like this strong desire to just be in the presence of god you know to just i just want the lord i just want him <laughs> and so like um i went for a kesha the first friday and then on sunday i went for this camp oh my god so the camp is called discipline nations agent dna dna one and then because there's two and maybe there will be three so it's by an organization called some africa that students arise movement the camp was at oh my god the camp was someplace in limoro it's a mission it's like a prayer center i forgot the name but in yeah so and then oh the camp was two weeks oh my god the camp was so amazing like i got to meet new people i got to meet new people that is definitely always amazing for me I got to learn a lot of things like there were so many teachings like so many people came like different people came and they taught us more like some people some of the people who came was like Anes, um david i don't know if his name is david no that's david oginde kim i don't know the former wow guys <laughs> the former assistant bishop deputy bishop of satan yeah? and uh, you know people like ambassador Mary Odinga, um well <laughs> those are the ones i remember for now but yeah and i got to learn a lot of things and i remember leaving the place after two weeks i was so like spiritually rejuvena rejuvenated and i was so like i just i was because my prayer was god i don't want to leave this place i just go live my no more life you know i want something to change you know and god is faithful that is oh. so for me that was my highlight of January. and yeah let's move oh and i got <laughs> this is funny but 
well, I'm gonna insert a video here and you're gonna see. Hi, my name is Masika Ponda. I'm currently attending DNA, that is Discipline Nation Agent, a program by Sam Africa. The experience so far has been a great one for me. I have learned so many things. I have learned um, about purpose. I've learned the importance of knowing and understanding and pursuing your purpose because each and every one of us has been called to do something in this world. And then um, number number two, now let's not number two, February. So for me, oh, this is another great day. So in December 2019, I saw this sort of WhatsApp message in a certain WhatsApp group um, stating like it's another conference that will be in Strathmoya for three days. And I was like, I just study here, like at Riyadh, it's just a walking distance to Strathmore. So for those three days, I can just apply for this conference and go for this conference because I mean it's not it's not interrupting anything, yeah. And so I applied for it and I got it. <laughs> so the conference was in Feb, um, probably first week or second week of Feb, the week for Valentine's. I think that's the second week. So um, that this is like on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And God, my God, this conference was amazing, guys. I can't even explain to you. Let's start. First of all, they give us they give us free hotel rooms. Mm -hmm. And then I was so lucky to get a room. <laughs> And my like my own room, let me tell you guys. So people were told you can just you can start going to your rooms on Sunday and then on Sunday I couldn't make it. So I just I said I'm gonna go on Monday. So on Monday the conference like right on Monday then night we went to to the hotel. Um I can't remember the name of the hotel but yeah. So we went to the hotel, yeah. And then people were just I was there at the counter almost near the counter and at some point I got to the counter but you know I would just let people skip me skip me which is not me just saying I'm gonna excuse me who do you think you are? just go excuse me I was here before but on that day I just let people let people let people and you know what the girl in front of me I told her like we discussed and we're like okay we're gonna share a room so she she now she was being checked in and she just saw her leave and I was like you know I mean and then Kumbe, she got her own room and then I was the next person. I got my own room because we like we were among the last people to be checked in. I was so oh my god, I was so elated. Because you know like when you get your own room, like there's some sort of privacy, you can just it's just amazing, yeah? And so the conference is like it gathers entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs and just teach them more about entrepreneurship and so it's originally from sweden and then came to norway and then kenya is the third one so they like this emax sweden emax norway and emax kenya and so yeah so the group is from norway and sweden like a combination and there are a few kenyans and so yeah so I got to learn a lot. I got to learn teamwork, like teamwork, teamwork. I remember like one of the teamwork activities, uh, you had to be tied, like my leg was tied to another girl. No, I think all, if I'm not wrong, all our legs were tied, like several people of us, and we had to walk to get to the next place, you know? And yeah, like all our legs, you know, like a line. And we had to work like from this end to the next end and so like you know at times like mm, for other people it would be painful but you know what you guys are all tied if if you think you're gonna get to the end without this person in the middle no you can't move like that so you have to all work as a team to get to where you want to go and yeah that was just an amazing concept for me and Oh, we had a dinner. Oh my god, a gala night. It was so amazing. The food. The food, guys. Oh my days. The food was so crazy. I remember when I came home, like after the conference, I was like, now what is this we are eating? <laughs> and I'm, for 
the last three days I was just taking mm, very nice. anyway so yeah and then the following day was oh my god I don't know the following day was Thursday and then um the next day was Valentine's and I went on a date with my friend it's a girl and we went to Asmara the one in Karanya because I think they're like three or two so yeah that was awesome and then let and then let's go to March. So much anything. Oh, maybe the highlight for March was I got okay in my school, yeah. So people get to in my school, which is Riara. People like if you're a graduate, you get you like there's a graduation dinner, yeah. So I got to be in the planning committee. I got to attend free dinner. <laughs> Just saying, a Western, and so it was. And I made, oh, I got to dress up. Oh my god, how did I forget that? You should see my dress, guys. You, you will see. And then, yeah, and then we got lockdown, COVID started. <laughs> well, here in the country, yeah. And so, like, schools were closed. I can't even remember when I started with closed. But um, yeah, I was at home. And now we just started. Oh, there was this teacher was. Why? She is so like. She's so like, how do I say this? Up to date. I'm a, yeah, no, she's so, I'm looking for that word, but I know forgotten. Hey, like, man, she knew about Zoom time. She just told us, oh, this, this, and this, and this. And wow, our classes continued as normal. So anyway, so, so we did the uni, the uni, we finished the exams for that. Okay, not really exams, because basically what happened is like every week for some lecturers, yeah, every week would have like, Mm, some what is it called like questions quizzes yeah and that's what was counted for the exam but others i remember we did like a whole exam but it was online yeah and then yeah that was it what else oh i'm using my notebook to like you know see oh and then that in march i started my what is it called I believe it's March. It's either March or April. That's when I like got introduced into digital marketing. And so like the conference that I met I went, I met this lady who told me, shout out to you, Melanie, she's a digital marketer and I thought, Oh, this looks interesting, like blah blah blah. I didn't know much about it to be honest then. And so she runs this um mentorship program for one month, it's free. And I got to, you know, just learn more like let's say like the basics of digital marketing yeah? which was awesome as well then let's move to april by this time what time you want be my legs are itching personally i'm not the kind of person who loves to stay i'm not an indoor person i am so much of an extrovert i thrive around people i just want to be around people and talk and talk and talk and so by this time my legs were you know you just feel like your legs are itching 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 and so <laughs> i went out for the first time i went to visit my friend because i couldn't i couldn't anymore i just could not i had been in the house for two weeks oh my god i could not i could not again and those two weeks it's a lot that kept me wow lord eh? anyway so i went to visit my friend and yeah and what other thing i think that's when i get i got to do my first style video By this time, 
or I think uh, by this time I had started learning about money. You remember guys in 2019 when I was telling you guys that I dedicated my ear to the Lord. <laughs> this is funny. I told the Lord like, oh, I'm giving you my 2020. And then imagine, up or tune, what I didn't trade for you guys is I had some things that I wanted the Lord to do for me. <laughs> And so like one of the things I was like, God, please teach me about finances, you know. And so by this time in April, I had already started learning about finances. That's when I got to read this book, Rich Dad Poor Dad. And then my friend was in St. John on a Zoom for the free like webinars, like free live. She should always keep me up to date. And, you know, I got to learn. Um, You know, I got to like, continue learning about finances yeah which i was like oh my god like god actually takes it seriously like wow oh that's so amazing i felt then i was like wow and then um let's go to may so in may i did this course um that's called already learn so basically it's a digital strategy training content strategy training course and so yeah it's also more a lot of digital marketing and content and it's a program that runs for 10 weeks so then as we paid 10k no 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 oh my god 4k 4k and i remember i didn't have the 4k when the course started and i was like god should i take this course like how am i gonna pay i don't have this 4k yeah but i just felt like just the course you know so and this is what I'd advise. This is a story within my since 20 recap. So, like, I don't think, don't wait until the perfect moment. Just do it. Because I remember, like, in this case, now when I, w I had already started the course, and I'm like, I can't stop this course. This course looks so beneficial. And no, your mind would think on how to get the money. You know, like, you'd think on, oh, this is how. Because I paid, I paid 1K, 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 1K for four weeks. So my mind would think on how I'd get that money, you know, like, how am I going to get this one thing for this week? My mind would just think, you know, and, oh, greatest asset. Even when you read that Rich Dad Poor Dad, he says, like, how our mind is the greatest asset. And also, the wife has written Rich Woman, and she was saying, like, there was this time um, she wanted to buy flats or something, a house, let's call it property. <laughs> and she didn't have the money you know so she had a deadline for two weeks if she stayed she said like you know if she stayed she doesn't have the money and she just left all the opportunity that's how the property would have gone but she decided no i don't have the money but i'm going to put i'm going to say yes i'll get a house and look for all possible ways like my mind will definitely have to think of all the possible ways the money will get and because she had a deadline she had to thought fast she thought of all ideas until she got the money and got the property and then after that she told the agent so when you get another property just tell me and the agent is like huh and then you struggle to get this money she's like no money will always come and yeah that's oh i'm not sure if she said money will always come but that was my statement so yeah that was in may i got to start on this course it's very very like it's a training it's so practical because you get to do it on an existing company like all those things that you get to learn like okay some of the things that you get to learn is like um brand guidelines um social media reporting website auditing a little bit of graphic design because you like create the content for that brand um well and a few more things i can't remember but um so another thing that happened in may is that i got an internship you remember the lady i told you that i met in in Marx? so i asked her can i have like an internship just to you know continue learning and i got my first digital marketing internship of yeah yeah that was it and then um what other thing and then july july was just there uh, like <laughs> pretty much i can't remember what i did in july it's probably the month where um, I said, no, I think I said, I forgot to say, guys, I can't remember this well, but I forgot to say that I had a YouTube channel. So, 
I believe by this time I had yeah I started my YouTube channel in April yeah and so in June in eighth of May or June I got to collaborate with Melanie Hapisu and we did a video together on her channel you can check it out her name is this check um this so yeah and then the other thing was July birthday month and let me tell you so like I always say I am so I'm not an Indo person yeah and I knew my birthday was gonna be an Indo birthday and my prayer was God just just help me help me be happy Indos it's my birthday just help me be happy and who is God again he is faithful the joy that I had on that day I was just happy I was just I was alone but I was just happy really really happy you know <laughs> and so um, my sister surprised me with cake and since she's a Tuesday we, um, we bought pizza and then my friends came in the evening in at night and then we cut the cake imagine I had to wait a whole day just for my friends to come so I would cut the cake um yeah and then guys let me tell you, you guys another highlight for me was that oh, I graduated from the course the RD land course so um, I'm satisfied I'm satisfied anyway <laughs> another thing is like you know having friends who believe in you so there's this girl that I met back in Asia 2018 or 2019 we've been friends yeah since then yeah? and so she told me she has a project in school and she'd like me to model and be the stylist and just come up with a certain theme and we'll have a photo shoot and all that and i was like oh cool and i thought of elegant because i can you know rock elegant outfits very well and she's like no i want something more creative and she's like what about like vintage old school and i'm like that's impossible like you can tell me to like two days too and you expect me to you know to give you such to give you like you know um clothes like vintage but once again who is god who is god um so i just went to my closet and i'll be like this works this works this works this works and i got so many outfits and you know the trick is it's in the styling i can style this to be vintage and i can style this to be elegant so i forgot let me show you okay what is this now what is this now I know I've, I've elevated my look by bringing my braids to my to the front yeah so yeah that's it and I did the photo shoot and I was so amazing and God is my plug you know he just direct me and show me you know style these two together so shout out to him <laughs> and yeah that was really really amazing and then let's go to Agas I guess I got a job. I was a social media intern, and so I also run um this store. This store, it's a clothing store. It's called Mimi Stores. I also run their social media page, and you can check them out. Yeah. And then the other thing is, um, yeah, that was it for me for August. And then in September, September, what happened in September? Really, we opened school. <laughs> and i continued doing the internship and it ended end of september like the last day of september and then in october i got sick you guys let me tell you how it's happened. i just woke up one day and i was really sick like my back i don't know i was just feeling weird and i'm like connie mattress squeezy what's the problem you know and my blame it on the mattress mind you i've been sleeping on that mattress for you know some time i don't stay here at home in Moya most of the time I'm usually at my sister's place but I slept on that mattress like ever since I don't know ever since we moved here yeah and so um, I was like mm, maybe mattress now anyway Konashida okay not ever since we moved here but for years yeah and then um I went for a walk on that day when I came back I think I was feeling worse and I just slept on the couch like the whole day. Like guys, I think on that day I slept like twenty hours or twenty one hours. Like what? And then the following day when I woke up, it was I think on a Thursday and I was feeling much better. Okay, yeah, let's say much better. And then we were going for a battery in Kiambu, so we went. Hey guys, see the sun hit me. And I remember at some point we were at a bush with my father and I was like, 
the sun had hit me like it's like i was losing it at this point <laughs> so i remember i was like what i just want to sleep where i am like the distance between where i was and the car wasn't far but i just couldn't walk i couldn't imagine myself on that road, like on that car path going and at this point i was just like i just want to sleep here like Eli, like you feel you feel like you're letting go like your mind is like just about to close <laughs> you know <laughs> and so my brother just carried me to the car and him i felt now much much better and then now they left me at my sister's place in gong and then it just got worse it just got worse because i wasn't eating because i'm feeling nauseated the fact that i'm not eating is making me weak i'm not to walking and like i'm barely walking and so i came back home again and then i stayed here stayed here stayed here and then around somewhere in october i i went back to nairobi and i i wasn't you know that whole month i was sick <laughs> let's just say that and um oh i had h pylori but i feel like i had something else because i i was too sick to only have h pylori you know? and so the next um i remember now in December in October, the first week I was feeling much better. You know, I'd gotten to a point in October. I'm I'm thinking like I'm a people are usually sick. They just learn how to adjust. Like you just see someone living by in, they're feeling, they're feeling awful, but they they just learn to adjust how to live with their sicknesses. But then when we got to September, I was feeling so much better. In the September, November, I was feeling so much better. So. I was just happy to feel better. I was just happy to feel better. Hey guys, I was happy. And so first week of November I also went for so I assisted this girl. She's called Crystal. Check her out on Instagram. She's awesome. Her fashion is just over the moon. And as a check her, please check me out on Instagram as well. <laughs> and so she was selling um Miss Katua for her birthday shoot and so i assisted kinda it was such a lovely show i met new people it was just awesome for me <laughs> and then oh in november it was also the month where god showed me like i mean he's always doing it but this month was like it was like serious issues <laughs> so everything is serious by doing like i don't know what i was saying but he, he was showing me like things that i need to work on like problems in my life, areas in my life that needs his help that he wants to work on. And some of the things she showed me like me personally, like you know, like I'm watching a YouTube video and I just come into this realization. I'm like, oh my God, I am struggling with this. Oh my God, my God, I can't do this. Like how do I do it? Please help me you. And then some others he like used my mentor, my mentor and my friend she's like thirty years. And so as we were talking, you know, she's like, Oh my god, I think you you're facing this and this and I'm like true because this and this and this and this happened and yeah we just started uh, praying about her and it was nice, you know. I mean God loves us so much until he just shows me things that I didn't know I have and he wants to work on them. I bet he does want to do such for in your life too. So yeah. And then let's go to December. December was I just Okay, I had eight units, but we had three exams because five we did project throughout the semester, in, in between the semester and up here. So um, I did, oh my god, <laughs> I just remembered I haven't gotten my grades and okay, they're not out yet, but I was just like, oh my god, what did I get? But anyway, <clears throat> time, that's another, that's, we'll just pick up, we'll, we'll, I mean, later we'll know where we go. And then, so, oh, I'm reading my book, if I didn't tell you. So, um, oh yeah, I did exams, like three exams, and I had two makeup cards. One, I didn't, I kind of missed a lot when I was sick. So, yeah. And then, after, and then, I was in chill mode. I think December was just chill mode for me. Like, I was just feeling chilled. Because, <laughs> first of all, I'm done with my semester, yeah? I think I'm, like, I almost finished my semester on 18th, but... There was nothing really much to be done because I think first week of even though classes were supposed to end like first week of December, I believe like most of we had finished our semester and that week is kind of something you just read for yourself. And then plus I don't have eight exams, I had three exams. So it was just chill mode. And then I feel like also it's chill mode for everyone in the world because it's Christmas. I mean like everyone is just on holiday mode, I believe so. And like there's just a, a relaxation that comes with December compared to other months of the year. And so I was just in chill mode and then I took that time to read not to read 
to watch a lot of Christmas movies. I think there's just that Christmas vibe. But hey, it was just this year I felt it so much. So just watching Christmas movies, Christmas movies, movies like it hasn't happened any other year like it did this year. Like this year I had like purpose to watch Christmas movies. I don't think I've ever purpose to watch Christmas movies like in my previous years. And so and then I came home on him in second I enjoyed Christmas with my family, it was so awesome. And then on the 26th, I went to my show show, stayed two nights, and then um, after that, I went to my cousin's place who lives like in those areas where my show show lives. And then I went swimming in a river for the first time, it was so awesome. <laughs> and then after that, I came back home on the 31st. And as I mentioned, because we usually have get togethers on the 31st. So in this in this year it was virtual and then yeah I let the countdown it wasn't the best. I kinda messed up. Oh the internet messed me up. So I was just feeling ah anyway it passed and so now that was my twenty twenty and it feels nice to you know recap your twenty twenty like oh so in twenty twenty one I'm expecting a lot. You know I thought I remember thinking like I think twenty twenty was great for me like 2021 will probably be an year of now trials but that's a lie from the enemy like i mean god can give me a greater year this year you know and i can experience so much of his goodness this year like you know hey so yeah and yes goodness is not his goodness is not really about like um what happens to you he is good regardless of what happens to me so yeah i'm gonna experience his goodness this is gonna be greater it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be better than 2020 and yeah i just can't wait i'm really really expectant and yeah that's it for my 2020 recap and for my 2021 expectations and that's it so bye thank you for listening to me and for watching this far so kindly subscribe to my channel and See you, God bless you.